What's up Overlanders? Today we're going to do a rig tour of Robin, a 1995 Toyota 4Runner 2nd Gen. Let's get to it. So let's first start off with the rooftop tent. Um, I decided to go with uh, Tough Stuff. Um, super nice. Cut, splice, and action. Take three, two, one. So, Welcome to my crib. Let's walk up there and check it out. Tough Stuff did a phenomenal job with their ladder. Uh, it's very stable and very easy to use. Collapses just by these two and locks into place. Uh, very impressed by it. Uh, so all, all around, thank you Tough Stuff for such a great product. Well, so I went and put on the annex. Again, it's the Tough Stuff uh, rooftop tent annex. This thing is awesome. I didn't stake anything down, so, but that's pretty much, pretty much what we got. It's perfect, it keeps me out of the weather. I didn't put the bottom on yet. Um, but I'm going to uh, keep this on at all times. So whenever I collapse the tent, I'll be packing and storing it with the annex. Um, and I can't really do that if I have the bottom on. So just because I won't be able to pull the ladder. So. But yeah, that's it. Fits the uh, the tire and everything in there just just fine. So and it's supposed to rain tonight. It's a 30 to 50 percent chance. And uh, I'm excited to get to use it and stay dry. So, anyways, let's go into talk about uh, the Escape Buddy. Uh, I have not used these yet. I just got them from eBay. Uh, they were really well priced. I was very uh, happy with them and the way that they uh, feel structured. Um, very good piece of gear. So, hopefully. In the next couple days and on this venture that we'll be able to uh, to utilize them so I'm pretty excited so the next thing we're gonna go into is our shower of choice which would be Waterport Waterport uh, is a company based out of San Diego great company um, we have collectively about four of them so this is our water port it's a 3.3 gallon tank pressurized tank and the cool part is it gets its pressure from a garden hose and you don't need an air compressor, which is very convenient. Next we're gonna talk about is the, the awning. It's eight feet by eight feet. Um, and we have built this awning um, ourselves. We have a actual DIY video on our uh, YouTube page and you can check out that for um, for how to build it yourself. We built this for 80, it was about 84, it was under 100 bucks, so it was $84 um, without this cover piece. So, uh, very uh, efficient and works really well. well and if you look uh, over on this side, you'll see exactly our, uh, our build. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so next we're going to go into the engine bay. The only mod that I really did in here is the ARB breathers, differential breathers. If you notice on the side, but other than that, um, it's all stock, uh, just well maintained. It's a uh, 3VZ-E motor, so it's a V6, 3.0 V6. Take seven on this one. <laughs> yep. Next we're gonna talk about is my light bar. My light bar is an Iyer Life 32 inch LED. It's very affordable, and it's just a great all around light bar. So, <laughs> let's go on to the next one. <laughs> so, here I put on a tire carrier. I had a donor vehicle, it was a 1991 uh, Toyota 4Runner, second gen. Um, on the 95s it didn't come with it, and I thought it was a really great idea, and uh, so that's why I took it off of that and I put it on here. So, if you go over here, 
I just added some nut certs or rivet nuts uh, to hold it in place. Worked really well. And, uh, to swing out. So, those all around, just a great job for me. And if I ever get in a <coughs> sticky situation, I got a, uh, I got an extra tire to keep me going. And now we're gonna talk about my tires. So I decided to go with the Hercules Trail Digger uh, mud tires. They're uh, super affordable. Um, I haven't really looked at the reviews, but I've been driving on them for the around a thousand miles now, and they work just perfectly for me. So these are 31 inch tires. Um, I didn't want to go too too big on them, uh, just because uh, fuel efficiency. And uh, but when I'm driving down the road on uh, on pavement, I I don't hear them, so I'm very impressed with them. And as for communications. Robin has a Uniden Pro 520XL CB radio. It's very clear. It's a very, uh, really good product. And it's paired with the Little Wheel magnet antenna. So now as far as Robin's suspension, I know I've had a couple questions about what uh, suspension I'm running on it. Um, she is actually completely stock. I am using um, Ranchero's RS5000 shocks. Uh, and I have no complaints with them. Uh, they're very affordable and uh, <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a good day and keep moving forward. Feely Maze here with another fantastic product. It's the Iron Life Light Bar. It's 32 inches and it's great. Affordable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take seven on this.